Hamiltonian paths and cycles. Previously, we learned about Eulerian graphs, where we cover every edge of a graph only once. Hamiltonian paths and cycles involve all the vertices, but not necessarily all the edges. So a Hamiltonian path visits every vertex of a graph. So for example, I could make a Hamiltonian path that went like that. I would write it A, B, C, oops, D came first, D, C. That's obviously not the only Hamiltonian path that I could draw on that graph, but that is one of them. So it doesn't have to involve all edges. And if you remember the definition of a path, we can't have repeated vertices. And obviously, because we can't repeat a vertex, we can't repeat edges either. Now, a cycle has no repeated vertices, but it does start and end at the same vertex, so that vertex isn't counted. So obviously, a Hamiltonian cycle is a path that starts and finishes at the same vertex and visits every vertex. Finish, I was trying to write vertex. So, a Hamiltonian cycle could, for example, start at A, so you'll see it doesn't need to touch every edge, but it does have to go to every vertex once and only once. If a graph contains a Hamiltonian um, cycle, it does, it is called a Hamiltonian graph. If it contains a Hamiltonian path, but not a cycle, it's semi-Hamiltonian. Semi Now, unfortunately, there's no nice, easy rule, as there is with Eulerian graphs. We just have to work it out by inspection. Now, the Hamiltonian paths and cycles do have a bunch of very useful applications. So a Hamiltonian path might be that you want to visit each of four towns only once. It doesn't matter the roads you're traveling, but you want to go to each town once and not double up. And that's quite sensible. A lot of the courier type problems, a courier leaves her depot and needs to go to each of a bunch of delivery places without doubling up on them and come back to the depot. So there's a lot of practical situations there. <laughs>